Well, you the op and your bros hating. All of them fake, I see both faces. Scared of the whip, it's a ghost racing. I knock them down to their cold cases. Marathon run, I'ma slow pace it. They did not want me to go places. For your clans like the gold place. Send a quick pulling up with the whole squad. Are you ready to told y'all that you better be running? I'm in my go yard. When I walk in, I know y'all telling me nothing. No, I done got it. See my jewels, shining, shining. White diamonds, Miley Cyrus. Private jet, private pilot. Look at me, stylish, stylish. Masterpiece, body, body. Young, hey. I don't know no better. From the future home of Super Bowl 56, there's a look at SoFi Stadium just south of downtown Los Angeles. Today, it's a matchup in the AFC West between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Los Angeles Chargers. at the 25. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Deron Payne, the big D tackle there to make the stop. There's a fast release by Wilson out to the flat. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 11 yards there, first down. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. Buying time to his left. He'll let this thing go for Sanders. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Miles Sanders, his second touchdown on the season. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. Makes the score. Chiefs 7, Chargers nothing. 
Greg Zerline set to kick off. Yeah, from the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 16. Naeem Hines, his first carry. And he'll take this one up over the 20 to the 21-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second to Herbert now. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and then hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. Herbert on first down now. Quick hitter here, it's complete. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Not much there, only a yard. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Draw play, this is Hines. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down, they hit him with the draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? But you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field and only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass them with a running play. Herbert wants to throw it on third and one. Just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Instead of a third and one run, they go pass and they get 12 yards out of it. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and 10. This is Hines. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. Defensively, it was Avante Maddox with a tackle. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. Flushed out right. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. before he's taken down at the 36. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. On first down, it's Herbert. That's complete to Hines out of the backfield. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. With the score, Chiefs seven, Chargers nothing. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. 
They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. And he is caught at the seven. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the seven. A good pickup there, 21 yards. First and goal, and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? They'll try and run with Harris. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. George Kittle, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. And he'll bang that one through. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Fielded in the end zone. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. The Chiefs take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's coming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. At the 32-yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Sanders toss left side. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Third down, Wilson. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense. Here we go on fourth with Wilson. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And it'll be a turnover on downs. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Hines. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. He was it's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. It's now Justin Herbert looking to pass. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. First target, first catch, and a first down. That certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller 
should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of one. Brings up second and goal at the six-yard line. Now it's Herbert. That is caught at the seven-yard line. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. Well, the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but yeah. no yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They, they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, and people got credit for tackles. Kansas City defense, tough to throw on there, and now it's fourth down. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. The offense stays out there. A big challenge here from this far back, but they're going for it on fourth and goal. Going quickly out to the right side. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Devontae Adams, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Chargers have taken the lead. Now Sean Payton going to say, let's go for two on this one. Herbert throwing again. This will be caught at about the six. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taken in the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down, caused all of that. it caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. He may try and run for this. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. From the shotgun, Wilson. Goes to the right side here, complete. Wilson's pass. Seven yards, the pick up there. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. From midfield now, here's Wilson. Left side here to Sanders. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. His second catch, and this one not nearly as electrifying as his first. And it'll bring up third down now. Flush to his right. He can run for it, and he will. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. You and I both know most coaches are really fearful about their quarterbacks running with the ball. They don't want him to take that big hit. I don't think they worry about that with Russell Wilson. He's so smart in what he does, and we just saw it there on that scramble. And nearly picked off there, almost intercepted. Instead, second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. So line of scrimmage still to 39 on second and 10. Good 
to throw again. Wilson. And that is incomplete. Wilson. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well. And that one's incomplete. Ten yards to go. Here comes the eighth play of the drive. And they need a full ten yards on third down. From the gun, it's Wilson. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. fourth and inches this is fourth and 14 they'll try and throw forward with Wilson and they're going to be set up down around the 15 yard line complete to Jordan now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half line of scrimmage the 15 it's first and 10 Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Caught on the right side. Reed. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. A gain of 6 there on first. It's a pickup of 6. Brings up 2nd and 4. This is a 2nd and 4. Ball at the 9. From the gun, Wilson. This will be caught at about the five. And yeah, the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Seconds left in the first half. This Charger defense continuing to hold the line. Now it's a third and goal situation. It's Wilson. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Russell Wilson. As time expires in the first half. And the Chiefs are a two-point conversion away from tying this thing up. So a very tight first half. We had to break in a one-point game. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Break their line set to kick off. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. This taken in about four yards deep. 
decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. They're on 20 yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down in bounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Throwing again. Herbert. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. And Nick Bosa so quick on the outside, he gets in there to bring him down. Third and long, it's Herbert. Forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here's Jamie Gillen now, and surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. That's taken on the 25. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Their defense just came up with a stop right out of the locker room, and now can the offense take advantage? Yeah, we don't want to turn this into something that it's not. It's only a one-score game, so it's not exactly a crucial possession. But at the same time, they'd like to get things started and at least come away with three points. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. It's good there. Kansas City touchdown. A big play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts. All right, because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. 14, 14. To throw is Wilson. From the game, he'll throw. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. Chargers, 15. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. 21-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't come before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked Go to so something well, else. And maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. The ball away and it falls incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver, and it's third down. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. On third down, Hines. It's a first down following a gain of three. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. 
Looking deep for Adams. Bodies here and it's intercepted. Interceptions from our perspective here. We got a good view at the 50 yard line mid level that quarterback and receiver were not on the same page. Just by his reaction, I'm talking about the quarterback, he expected something different from his receiver. Whether he expected him to break in, out, deeper, shorter, they'll determine that on the sideline. But bottom line, you can see that he thought he'd be in a different spot, except the defender was not his intended target. They'll start with the option, escaping the pressure right. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. Runs like that, this time on the RPO, is why they call him dangerous. <laughs> I love the way you dropped that in there. His decision-making is what makes it all go because his ability to process so quickly what the defense is doing, make the right read, and then when he takes off and runs, also knows how to protect himself downfield after he's gotten all he can out of the sprint. Fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. He was trying to find Justin Jefferson there. And it's second down. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. It's a second down run with Sanders. He'll get about four here. Down to the 43-yard line. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Here's Wilson on third down. A short little throw taken in by Reed. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Nine yards. First down, Kansas City. Now Wilson on first down. Flushed out right. And now he's going to use his legs. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Sanders and he'll be close to a first down at the Chargers 22 they get five out of that one and it moves the chains running lanes were at a premium in the first half but he's able to find some room there and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half they go play action with Wilson and he finds the tight end now it appears we've got a Chief moving pretty gingerly down there. More from L.A. in a moment. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. Third down. And five yards to go. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Now Wilson. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. 
And out of bounds all the way down at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. And they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Once again with Sanders. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. About a half yard from the end zone, third and goal. And this time he is in. Yes. Miles Sanders, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Now Zerline on and the extra point. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. Zerline set to kick off. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. At their own 21-yard line. Charger drive about to get going. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Second down at four. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. They'll bring out four receivers, three of them being sent to the left, one to the right, second and four. Here's Herbert. talk about possessions being at a premium in these games and now in this situation throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in that one's going to hurt and in a big way and he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25 a loss of a full three yards and now it's second down yard line Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Nine good yards here on the run, and now third down. Brings up third down. Got it, and he finds Sanders. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Touchdown. Make it a hat trick for Russell Wilson. Three touchdown passes now. And the Chiefs use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Zerline now for the PAT. And that one makes this a 19-point game. Makes the score. Chiefs 34. Chargers 15. Greg Zerline set to kick off. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. 
And no return on this one. It's a fair catch. A single four and take it. The Chargers take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Now, they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. Just the head coach handling it, the offensive coordinator. Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here, and sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Chief sack, Nick Bosa, able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. They get 12 yards back, but it still leads to a fourth and long. Brings up fourth down. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They snap it to Herbert. And Herbert has thrown an interception. Picked off at the 38. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Little choice, Charles, but to go for it right there and pick six will be the icing on the cake yeah you don't know how many more possessions you're going to get so really you're almost at the point of no option you have to go for it bottom line though is defenders know that as well they know you've got to throw the football had the right defense call it will make a nice play on the ball and that's all she wrote a throw there but that's going to wind up incomplete i know we can sit up here and dance around it a little bit but going for two in this situation Somebody doesn't like someone else. There's no doubt in my mind. Well, what they couldn't see is you lean back in your chair and you went. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not a good decision. They didn't get it, though. Yeah, I don't think you just say, well, my kicker's hurt in this spot. No. No. Okay. The Charger drive about to get going. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. Looking deep for Adams. of a deficit you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes but it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them isn't it down say, down this big in the fourth yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget absolutely and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage that's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down so now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards From the gun, Wilson. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. Wilson, six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Scantling. It's a gain of six. Operating from the gun, Wilson. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Well, was it a breakdown of protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Here's the Chiefs punter now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. Six yard line. Absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air. And that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. 
Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Justin Herbert. Hey, normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. But he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Throwing on third and long. Herbert. And able to pull it in is Kittle. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A shotgun snap for Herbert. The left side throw complete to Adams. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. He goes full extension, and he's got it. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Four more yards. To the air again. Herbert to the goal line, but it's incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. A line of scrimmage, once again the five, as they get ready for second and goal. And again, Herbert to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's, and it's intercepted at the goal line. Snags it from the pick. And a good turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirts. Yeah, he better figure, whatever the reason is, he better figure it out. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. And on the stop, it was the UCF product, Shaquem Griffin. Flush to his right. He's going to take off with it. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. That's a good chunk of yardage. It's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books, but now they have to make that up again, don't they? Now Wilson back into his end zone. And Blake, the tight end's got it. And they will get to him at the seven and stop him short of the first down marker. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there.